Hi, hi everyone. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome, welcome to this training session and thank you for being here. Thank you for your commitment and being here every week. And your presence is what give us motivation. Sorry, I think I have a little bit uh, connection problem, but if uh, but let me know if you cannot hear me. And uh, yeah, and so uh, happy June. Uh, we are in in a new month, so uh, it's at the first session of the last stage of molecular accountancy formula, which is uh, filing with authorities. So uh, yeah, we are going to start on that. Uh, uh, in the month of June. So it's the first session. And uh, remember that uh, all, all of our sessions are being recorded and they're going to uh, be recorded on our uh, YouTube channel. So uh, you can uh, watch the previous recording if you missed one and be aware that uh, we are being recorded. And I would I, I want to invite all of you to turn your cameras on if you, uh, if you like. So we can have a more engaging uh, session. Uh, just a quick announcement. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how much you've seen uh, in the social media on LinkedIn about the impact program that ATCF has launched. Uh, it is a program designed by uh, ATCF and uh, uh, our partnership with, uh, with them. So uh, I will just send you the link in the chat. You have not seen the advertisement uh, in uh, social media. So it's a really, really beneficial uh, uh, mindset training that, uh, you know, uh, Mandy was a moral mentor. So, uh, you know, it's, I, I would recommend uh, all of you to just take a look at uh, the the whole program and go for it. And uh, also, we are we actually we have run a pilot a pilot program for uh, our ACC Advantage students, and you can ask them for the experience also. And just a quick reminder for our ACC Advantage students that we are having our our mindset training at one uh, today. So I can see some of you are here, our ACC Advantage interns. So don't forget that. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to send you the link, the link to impact program. If you're interested, you can take a look. And you know, so, so if, because we are from Moracle, so there will be some priorities for you because of our partnership with uh, ATCF. And yes, I think, I don't know if Morla is, uh, here on, oh, he hasn't joined yet, but uh, yes, I think we can start our session. Thank you again for being here and thank you for being here every week. We have a 10 minutes question and answer at the end of the session. So if you have any question from any stages, we know we are in a stage six right, right now, the first session, but if you, if you have any questions, of any other stages, you can just go ahead and ask at the 10 minutes uh, question and answer. Thank you again, and I hope we have a great session together. Hi, more life. Hi, Sepide. Um, good day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And um, thank you, Sepide. And, um, uh, and thank you for all the great work that you guys are doing, uh, the Morocco Foundation to organize and make this um, program, yes, uh, what it is, you know, a lot is happening yeah, in the background, you know, so we are really excited, you know, and um, uh, for each and every one of you guys here as well, remember, and uh, we cannot do this alone, yes, we need everyone, yes, uh, to be involved, um, whether you are here, yeah, in person, whether you are here, you know, um, in spirit, you know, and uh, send your love, send your wishes, everything, you know, we need that, you know, because this is all about, you know, just being, you know, able to share the blessings that God is giving us, yes, remember this, yeah, we don't want to hold, you know, what we, you know, God is giving us, we want to share it, you know, if that, 
is how we can bring peace to the world, you know, so let's do it. <laughs> yes, to uh, the uh, accountancy, yes, and uh, accountancy, you know, and, um, and uh, um, as you guys know, I preach this all the time, you know, this is one of the best subjects, the best, you know, um, uh, career, particularly for the young people who are coming through, even for us now, even now, I'm beginning to, to see, you know, because I got so much joy, you know, talking to you guys, you know, sharing, yes, uh, about accounting, yes, and um, and uh, and that joy, you know, uh, no amount of money can replace that, yes. Uh, so I always talk about how I am happy and I'm healthy and I'm wealthy, you know, wealthy in the sense that you know to get, you know, to share, you know, your knowledge with other people, yes, and to see how that you know, shift, you know, the people's mindset. Yes. And help them to perform. Yeah. And help them to love doing what they're doing. Yes. Uh, for me, it speaks volume, you know, and I hope that, you know, you guys, whatever you're learning here, you take it seriously, you know, and then be able to pass it on. Yeah. Please don't hold it. Yes. That would be my advice. Yeah. Pass it on, you know, uh, to the people. Other people need it, yeah? But make sure when you get it, yes, remember, get it properly. Make sure you get it, yes? Because you don't want to pass on to somebody else, you know, something that is not, that's not too okay, yeah? So make sure you get it, you know, and pass it on, yeah? So it's good to see you guys here, you know, uh, every week, yes? And for all of you guys who are applying this, you know, in your workplace, you know, some of you are not in a working place environment to be able to apply this. Yes, and um, and uh, that's why we're here. We'll work with you guys to help you guys, you know, and to see how uh, we can, you know, give you the support, the training, and then help you guys to, um, to be able to apply it because it's not only just getting the theory, but also to be able to apply it. And when you do that, you know, you serve, then... The law says, you know, you're going to be compensated for it. <laughs> There's no way. Yes, the law is clear. Yes, this knowledge, specialized knowledge. Yes, and um, you apply it. Yes, and uh, you bless other people with it. You know what? You're going to get the blessings as well, financially and otherwise. Yeah. So we're doing it together. So really appreciate each and every one of you here. And every week you guys come in, you know, and then listen to this conversation. Yeah. But also, just to add to what Sepede said, please, guys, you know, help to share. Yeah. And um, the mindset training program, yes, uh, I'm saying, please, guys, yes, uh, go and do it. Really. Yeah. Put your name forward. Yeah. To do it. Um, uh, and take it seriously when you, when you go to do it. Yes. It's a daily activity, guys. And I'm appealing to each and every one. I've done it myself, yes. As I say, you know, I paid six thousand pounds when I did the program, yes. Okay, uh, and I see the benefit that program is done for me, yes. Um, and I know that I'm I'm talking, you know, uh, from experience. I know, and uh, every day, yes, I'm telling you, you know, I'm on it, yes, more and more. So now you get it for free. Yes. And this is the blessing I'm saying here. Yes. You know, so that's why it's, and this is another example. Yes. And um, uh, when we out there wanting to do good, good is all around us, guys. Yes. We all, yeah, whatever it is that we need. Yes. We have it. Yes. Already. Yes. So it could be that some things, you know, yes, um, we need to, you know, do a little bit more you know, to attract it to come in. But really, guys, yeah, whatever it is that we need, we have it. And it's uh, it's out there. Yeah, so this is an example. I went, you know, and see the benefits, you know, and now, you know, I'm able to make, you know, us, you know, to be able to get it, access to it. Don't joke with it, guys, yeah? I'm telling you, it's something good to take on, to take on board, yeah? But when you join in, guys, please don't just go and join in and then don't take it serious, yeah? Commit to it, yeah. Okay, um, you guys will see the benefit, 
yes, um, as accountant. Accountants, we need this. Not only the accounting principles, not only the accounting, you know, uh, what I call the bread and butter stuff that we need to know. We need the right mindset. We need that mindset to be able to understand that, you know, we are serving people. We're serving businesses. Yes, and we need to be present. We need to emotionally be involved. We need to commit. We need to be able to be there as partners. We need, I'm telling you, there's so much, you know, that uh, uh, that will come from that mindset train. Tell you, yes. Uh, I'm to my colleagues now. You know, the more I'm talking about it, the more it's becoming more clear. You know that difference when I say, you know, people are they love to record, yes. Like you know, just to record, yes. That's what accountancy is like for so many people. Yeah, uh, I want to record the sales invoice. I want to record the purchase invoice. I want to record the bank and cash. I understand that. But really, do you know what you're recording? You know, why are you recording this? Do you really? Yeah, before you start recording, have you got the right environment, you know? Have you got the right systems in place? Yes? Really? Yeah? Uh, if those things are not there, yes, then you're going to have a problem. And we're going to talk more about these things as we go along. Yes? And all of this, you know, why this is becoming more clearer to me? Yeah, because I can see how, you know, so, you know, fantastic guys, you know, after done, you know, for example, we've done all the, the ACC exams, we go all of this, you know, and then we're not able to do certain things. Yes, then I'm beginning to say, no, hold on. Something is not right here. Yes, it's not because Molai is lazy. It's not that Molai, you know, does not know, you know, uh, what to do. It's not that Mola is not committed. Not that Mola, but you know what? Yes, Mola maybe. Yeah, uh, the mindset that Mola brings to you know doing this stuff that he's doing, it's not the right mindset. So that's one of the reasons why we bring you know uh, mindset training. It's a big, big issue. I'm telling you guys. Yes. So I'm asking you guys to take it seriously, guys. Yeah, take it seriously. I'm backed up with your accounting skills. I'm telling you, the law of compensation. Like he says, you know, number one, yeah, you say you can make as much money as you want, yes, based on these three things. One, the need for what you do, yes. As accountant, the need for what we do exists. Every country needs an accountant. Every business all over the world needs an accountant, yes. Every individual out there who is, particularly those who are rich, they need accountants, yeah. So the need for what we do exists, guys. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Number two, it says the ability. Yeah. The ability, yeah, is the big one for me. Yeah. Do you have what it takes? Do you really have what it takes, you know, to do this accounting thing that we're talking about here? Yes. Your mindset, your attitude that you bring to work. Are you the person that is there understanding that I need to serve? Yeah. Are you trusted advisor? Are you somebody, you know, that, you know, you're able to apply this emotional intelligence, you know, at all times? Yes. I struggle a lot. Yes, I do. Yeah. But you know what? I'm not going to stop. I am going to keep, you know, exposing myself. I am going to keep studying. I'm going to keep learning. I'm going to keep making mistakes and I'm going to keep correcting it. Are you with me? Because I want to do this. I've made up my mind to do this. So if you make up your mind... Yes, and your mind is made up to do something. Seriously, guys, yes. And, uh, well, yes, you drop the ball, you make a mistake. But that's not the end <laughs> until I stop. I am not going to stop because I'm going to keep working at it to get better. I want to serve and to serve more. Yes, and if we as accountants are serving, then, guys, you know, uh, let's go and serve, yes, uh, without reservation, Yeah. Because if we do all of these things, we'll be present. Yeah, you know what's going to happen? The number three, yes, uh, 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 step. You say you become very difficult to be replaced. Yes, everybody wants you. Yeah, whatever you say, people want to listen to you. Then what happens? Yes, your value goes up, my friends. Yes, not down. 
your value goes up. You know, you become so valuable. Then now, you know, if you money you want to make, hold on. When you got so much value, yes, we know that as accountant. If the value is high, hold on. Yes, that's how you make money. If it's money you want to make, yeah. If it's well, I just want to please other people. I just want to help other people with my knowledge. Yeah. So when you got that value, you could do it. Yeah. So remember that. Yeah. So important, guys. Yes, the amount of money that you make, yeah, is as a direct proportion to those three things. Yes, the need for what you do, yeah, your ability to do it, and the difficulty in you being replaced. I'm not saying that, you know, uh, if you know, you know, your value is so high, you cannot be replaced. No, sorry. Nobody is indispensable. Nobody. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, sorry. But what I'm saying, you make it difficult. It's hard for you to be replaced. Yes. And I'm telling you, I stand here, whatever I do, I'm telling you, you know, and uh, that is in my heart. That is my mind. That is in my hands every time. And I'll ask you guys to hold it. And you guys, young people who are coming through the profession, I'm appealing to you guys, I'm telling you, yeah. Uh, in your studies, you will not hear these things being talked to you about it. Yeah, not in university, not in the SEC program, not in your AAT. No, 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 they don't talk about it, yes? But you are expected to have that mindset when you come to work. Yes, no wonder we are all stressed, you know, and um, uh, all the time, okay? Okay, so now... Let's move on to, yes, molecular accountancy formula, yes? And that molecular accountancy formula, as I'm saying, guys, if you don't have that formula, please ask the guys to give you a copy, yeah? Please, don't come here, you know, and come to listen, and then you are not um, a fair, you know, with the molecular accountancy formula, okay? This formula, yeah? This is how we do things here at Moeco, as you guys know. Yeah? Okay? Um, and to remind you guys, yeah, this formula, wrapped up within this formula, yeah, you got the accounting, yes, and you got the mindset, and then you got artificial intelligence all wrapped up in this formula. Okay? And I'm saying this, you know, uh, to uh, particularly young people who are coming through, Yes, first time into the accountancy profession. Yeah. Uh, you master this. Yeah. In the next, you know, couple of years, yeah, you're going to see how you're going to be in a very, very strong position. Yeah. The accounting knowledge. Yes. The mindset that you need to have wrapped up within, you know, what you do. Yeah. Because you're going to be serving and dealing with people but also now the artificial intelligence whereby you'll be sleeping, you know, transactions have been posted for you. Are you with me? You design, you know, your accounting system, you know, and things are just posting, you know, effortlessly. Yeah, this, I'm telling you, is all wrapped up within the Moracle Accountancy Formula. Yeah, okay? So if you master this, yes, then, you know, that law of compensation I was talking about, you can see how that is going to be easily put into practice. Yeah? Okay? The molecular accountancy formula, as we know, has got six stages. Stage one, we call it the, mon the management information system. That is the system or the stage or activity or area of work that most people would say, oh, it's bookkeeping. Well, we don't call it bookkeeping here. We refuse to call it. Yes? And that's why I was saying earlier today, you know, uh, when you get people just want to record, you know, they just want to record, you know, and um, I understand that, but this is beyond that. Yes, we call it management information system. Okay. Um, stage number two. Yeah, we call it the management accounts and value added because it's the second stage after you've done stage number one. Yeah, whereby every month you go to meet, you know, and discuss it. Stage number three is the statutory accounts and scheduling. After you've done the accounts, you know, management account every month, you've done, you know, the management information system every day, every week, every month. Now, at the end of the year, you've got to prepare statutory accounts. And those accounts, they need to be backed up by schedules. 
So at Moracle, we call it the statutory accounts and scheduling. And scheduling is so important because it gives a backup, you know, of every figure that you got in the statutory account. And we say statutory account because by law, yes, yes, by law, companies have got to prepare accounts. By law, charities, they've got to prepare accounts by, by law, yes. If you are not, you know, for example, you're not for profit, you've got to prepare accounts by law. That's why I say statutory accounts. Number four is the taxation. Yes, in this country, well, you hear the debate. Yes, now political, uh, uh, what do you call it now? Election in season. Yeah, if you listen to the two parties, yes, the uh, the main parties, Labour and the Conservative, you know, you hear them talking about taxation. Yes, okay, big issue. Wherever you go, taxation is a big issue. Yes, lower tax, higher tax, non-tax, low, you know, all sorts of things. Yes. Uh, the parties are now accusing each other, you know, which one is the one for tax? Yes, okay. It's a big issue, yeah? For businesses, yes, we are accountants, you know, we need to to consider that. It's a big issue. Clients come to us, they want us to be able to help them with their taxation, yes? And, uh, and we have to work with them, yeah, support them. But at the same time, got to understand that, you know, the government won't tax, yes? So we cannot just be saying, well, hold on, well, we're helping our clients and then not consider what the government is there. So we are in between to try and have that balance. But we are employed by our clients to be able to look after the tax affairs. So it's a big, big area. Yes, for us in the Moracle Accountancy Formula. So it's uh, stage number four. Stage number five, reporting. So this is where, you know, once you've done the account, yes, and you've done the tax, then you need to report. Yeah, so the different types of report that we deal with here, with the clients that we do, yeah, statutory audit. Yeah, okay. These are, you know, by law, yeah, uh, you got to do statutory. When you say statutory by law, yeah, some clients, when they fall into the statutory uh, requirement to audit, you got to audit them, either by income or maybe other, you know, conditions or restrictions or uh, uh, situations that they find themselves in you know, imposed uh, by stakeholders. So a statutory audit needs to be done. Independent examination, where it's a charity and then it is not an audit. So independent examination falls in. Or accountant's report for, you know, clients that don't fall into statutory audit, not independent examination, so they come and do accountant's report. Yeah. And finally, stage number six. This is the stage where this month we're going to be talking about the whole of this month we're going to spend more time talking about specifically you know filing with authorities and what do we mean by that yes filing with the authorities you know so you've got three different authorities here that we now take in into account company's house yes um charity commission and then hmrc okay Company's house, what do we file with company's house? We file accounts and we file the confirmation statements. There are other things that we do with company's house because, again, you know, when uh, those things change, for example, uh, the details, you know, of a company, you know, if the registered office address, you know, um, is now amended, is changed, or whatever it is, yes, we don't need to go and update it. If the director, yeah, or directors of the company, if there's a change, yeah, we need to go and update it in company's house. But for filing purposes, the accounts and the confirmation statement, we do that annually. Okay? Charity commission, the same. Accounts and annual return, we need to file that at the end of the year. Yeah, and the HMRC, yeah, we got the accounts and the CT600, that is the corporation tax return, Yes, and also, if it's an individual that we're acting for, then we need to file the self-assessment tax return. Okay. So these are three, you know, authorities that we are now looking to, to deal with, yeah, when we get into um, stage number six. There are other authorities, there are other, you know, um, stakeholders. Yeah, it could be like, for example, the bank. The bank from time to time might want, you know, uh, us to actually, you know, report to them, you know, but that would be a specific requirement. And it's not, you know, every year or so, as the case may be, yeah? 
But let's focus on those three. Companies House, yes? Charity Commission, and then HMRC. Okay. So the picture I want to paint it, here. The small part. So somebody asked when they any more posting. Can we mute, please? Can we make sure we're all muted? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, filing with authorities. Yeah, it's um the way I paint this. You know, uh, within the molecular accountancy formula is this. Yes, I like painting pictures. You know, uh, I remember. You know, uh. We think in pictures, yeah? So when I'm saying paint a picture, yeah, what I mean is, you know, uh, if you paint a picture of something, yeah, what you're saying, you're bringing that particular activity or whatever it is, you bring it very close, yes? You're painting that picture, you bring it very close, you know, and then try and begin to to have the relationship with that picture that he's got in front of you. Yeah? And that's what I'm asking you to do here. Come with me. Yes? Um, Stage number one, you do it every day, every week, every month. Stage number one. Yeah? The management information system, where transactions are, the data is captured, is recorded, is analyzed, is reconciled. Yes, every day, every week, every month. Yeah, transactions are happening. Yeah, businesses are out there every day. So because they're there every day, yes, financial transactions are happening. And those financial transactions, they need to be recorded. Yes, after they've been captured. And when it's recorded, they need to be analyzed and then reconciled. So you don't say, oh, well, you know, I'm going to wait until the end of the month for me to do my recording. When, think about it, transactions are happening every day. A business is there every day. Yes, five days a week, they are doing the business. So financial transactions are happening. So think about it. Yeah, okay. You move on to stage number two. When all of those transactions that happen every day has been captured, I've been recorded, I've been analyzed, and I've been reconciled. Then at the end of the month, yeah, then you do a month end, and then you prepare a management account. Yes, the management account, what you're saying there is, well, I am now going to report and put things into perspective. Yes, one thing that you normally do when you do management accounts, you're comparing the budget against the actual. Yes, the budget says, well, this is where we are going. Yes, for this particular month, and then at the end of that month, yes, after you've now captured the data, record, analyze, and reconcile, you're now saying, I want to now compare the actual against the budget. And if there's any difference or variance, then you need to be able to explain that. Yeah, and there are people who are charged with governance who, at the end of every month, will now be discussing strategy. Okay, what happened last month? Yeah, okay, what lessons have we learned from last month so that we can put some action yeah, into place, you know, so that it doesn't reoccur, or we have learned something which we need to leverage on going forward, or there is need for some forecasting. Let's go and look for that kind of information and then put it into place. That's what management account is focusing. You do that once every month. Yes, okay, come with me. At the end of the year, yeah, you're going to do statutory accounts. Yes, you do that once. You don't do that every day. You don't do that every month. The statutory account for that company is done once. Yes, and when is that? That has been done, yes, we got our own deadline. We're saying within three to four months after the end of the financial year. Yeah? So if your financial year end, for example, is January to December, so we're saying, yes, the next, you know, March or April, yes, you should be able to prepare that statutory account and the schedule to support it. Yeah? Okay. After you've done all of that, 
Just hold these three stages to mind here, guys. If you are actually in practice where you are dealing with clients or you are actually working in an industry where you are in the finance function, think about this. Stage number one, you are doing it every day, every week, every month. Yeah, you are involved in data capture, recording, analyzing, reconciling. You're doing payroll, you're doing VAT, you're doing gifted, you're doing all sorts of different things, you know? Uh, checking your suppliers, checking your customers, accounts, you know, um, 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 customer balances or customer statements you're producing, you're sending them, you're chasing money, credit control, yeah, your suppliers, you are able to go and talk and negotiate, you know, and um, are you uh, arranging to make payments, you're running the payroll and paying people at the end of the month, VAT, you are doing your VAT every quarter. This is what you're doing there and the transactions that are happening every day, every week, every month, okay? So the management account is done once every month. At the end of the month, yes, by the 15th of the following month, yes, normally that's what we're saying here, you prepare the account, you manage the account, and that's been discussed, and then actions taken, you know, um, going forward, yeah? The statutory account, you do it once, after the end of the year, okay? Three to four months after the end of the year. Okay, now paint this picture. When you prepare those accounts, to file those accounts, yes, there are statutory, you know, deadlines for those accounts. Yeah, with Companies House, yeah, with um, Charity Commission and HMRC. So in stage number six, I want you to paint a picture. You're standing in stage number three, yes, and you're saying, yes, I'm looking at stage number six, yeah? Okay, if three months after the end of the financial year is when you're preparing those accounts, yes, and then you need nine months after the end of the financial year, for example, to file accounts with companies house. Think about it. Three months, yes, you prepare those accounts after the end of the year when you are in stage number three. Yes, and then there is a requirement for you to file those accounts in stage number six yeah, with company's house nine months after the end of the year. So think about it. Yeah, you got six months. Six good months, you know, as a gap there. Yeah? Are you with me? Just think about it. If you are serving a client... And then you are able to prepare your account, you understand, and then file them three or four months after the end of the financial year when the deadline for company's house is nine months. How do you feel the client is going to now consider you? How do you think the client is going to now, in terms of paying you, is going to think about that? How do you think the client is going to now say, well, hold on, this guy, is it a professional guy? Is this somebody that we should be working with as a partner? Think about it. Yeah, it's very good, isn't it? You're going to be in a very good position, isn't it? Yes. Think about it. Nine months, you've got to file accounts. Nine months, you've got to file accounts with companies' house. Yeah? After the end of the year. With Charity Commission, you got 10 months that you need to file accounts with. Yeah, with Child Commission. You are in stage number three. You prepare those accounts three months or four months, yeah, after the end of the financial year. And then Child Commission is saying you've got to file this account 10 months. Look, you've got so much time. Yes. And to file those accounts with Child Commission three months or four months after the end of the financial year, when you got 10 months there, that's the picture I want us to paint here. Yeah, with HMRC, yes, you got to prepare those accounts, yes, and file them. It says twelve months after the end of the financial year. Okay, that with HMRC, you know HMRC. There's nothing going. It's nothing going to be simple with HMRC. They're always going to be, you know, uh, uh, tricky when you're dealing with them, and that's why we need to, you know, uh, uh, our clients will employ us. That's why we are in business. That's why we are partners with them. So 
it says 12 months, you got to file accounts. But really, you got to pay the tax nine months after the end of the year, nine months and one day. Think about it. You got to pay nine months and one month, nine months and one day after the end of the financial year. Yes. And then you got to file those accounts. The deadline is 12 months. Okay. So most of the time, you got people mixing that up. Okay. For those of you who are studying tax, yes. And uh, that's why it talks about pay and file. <laughs> yes. In the UK, pay and file. So you pay nine months and one day, and then you can file the accounts and the corporation tax, 12 months. That's the deadline. So think about it. You've got three months, yes, or four months. Yeah, when you stand in stage number three, yes, that's what you are aiming to do, to prepare those accounts three months or four months after the end of the financial year. So even if HMRC says you've got nine months and one day to pay the tax, you know the tax already. You will know because those, yes, their account would have been done. Yes, uh, three months or four months. Yeah, and then what you do, yeah, you move those accounts, you know, into the tax, which is number four. Yes, and the tax just works itself up, you know, one or two adjustments. Yeah, and then you'll be able to know what the figure is. So three to four months after the end of the financial year, yes, if you are able to do stage three and stage four, then the requirement for HMRC, nine months and one day and 12 months, yeah, is so much ample time. Are you with me? If you are able to do this, guys, I'm saying, whether you are in practice, whether you are in um, in public practice, um, uh, public or, or you are out there working in the industry, yeah, I'm advising you guys. That is what you should be working towards. Yeah, it's good practice. Yeah, if you are involved in account preparation, yes, whether you are in practice, yeah, where you're serving clients, or whether you are in industry where you're being part of the finance function. I'm advising that, you know, you're working towards that three to four months, yeah, to prepare your statutory accounts and then your tax. Yes? Okay? Because you got those deadlines up there. It's stage number six. That's the first thing I want to point to you guys. Yes? What are we filing and the deadlines that you need to take into consideration? Companies house deadline for accounts, yes, is nine months after the end of the financial year. The confirmation statement, it says it's an annual return that you need to file every year. So from the first anniversary, you now file accounts annually. Yes, okay? 12 months after your first anniversary. That's when you should be filing your confirmation statement, the, the deadline. Charity commission, you gotta file accounts and the annual return. It says 10 months after the end of the financial year. HMRC, you need to file accounts, yes, uh, with the corporation tax. You have 12 months, but you need to pay. If there's any corporation tax, you need to pay nine months and one day. So I am want to you, to you guys to paint this picture. Paint this picture clearly, yes. State number one, yes, every day, every week, every month. Number two, once every month. Yes? So it means that that stage number two, you're going to prepare 12 times in the year. 12 management accounts is what you are looking to produce if you are doing the management account every month. 12 times. Stage one, you're doing it every day, every week, every month. Those two stages, if you are on top of it, you know what you're going to be? When you come to do stage number three, those figures, you know them inside out. Yes? Because they would have been seen in so many different ways. Yeah, stage number one there, you analysis. This analysis thing that we're talking about, those numbers are analyzed every month. Yes? Making sure that mispostings are corrected. Making sure that the reconciliations, you know, uh, is a big issue for us here that we, uh, we're going to be able to be on top of, you know, and we're talking about it, yes? Uh, people are struggling with reconciliations, yes? 
That's all reconciliation. Predatory reconciliation, PAY reconciliation, VAT reconciliation, payroll reconciliation, yes, loan reconciliation, yeah, fixed asset reconciliation, all sorts of reconciliations. Yes, you got to be able to master it, but to be able to understand why those reconciliations are there in the first instance. Yes, and um, and if you've done this properly, every day, every week, every month, you do the management account. Every month, 12 times you have produced management account. By the time you get to do those accounts, stage number three, three to four months, those numbers, you know, are numbers that are fit for purpose. They are good to go, so to speak. Yes? So all you're focusing there, number three, is now the statutory requirements. And um, you guys who are working with me, you know me. Yes, that... Um, um, well, we test ourselves, you know, do we really know, you know, the statutory requirements? Yeah, for example, if you're preparing uh, accounts for, for charities, do you know the SOP? Have you read the Companies Act, the Charities Act? Have you? Yes. This is what is asking you to do here, the statutory account. By law, do you know what the law says? Do you know what the FRSC says? FRS 102 SOP, do you know what it says? Yes. Do you know what the Companies Act says? Do you know what the Charities Act says? Do you know what the regulations, like for example, you know, um, um, uh, um, um, Charity Commission? Yes, the expectation, do you know? Yeah, number three, that's what statutory is. Yeah, if number one has been done every day, every week, every month, number two is done every month, yeah, number three is going to be a doddle. And that's the reason why you'll be able to produce your accounts three to four months after the end of the year, guys. Yes, I want you guys to paint the picture. And if you can do that three to four months, you can produce your statutory accounts in stage number three. When it comes to stage number six to file those accounts, yeah, it's going to be that all. Isn't it, guys? Yeah? Even though they've got deadlines there, Companies House deadline for accounts is nine months. Charity Commission deadline, yeah, is 10 months. Yes, and HMRC deadline is 12 months. So you got ample time. You got plenty of time. Yeah, and that is a good feeling. Yes, this is how you will go to bed at night every day knowing that you can sleep, knowing that, you know, you've done, you know, what you set out to do. You have served your client. Yes. And your mind is clear that you have done, you know, what you set out to do. And your compensation, I was talking about earlier, that compensation, whatever money they give to you, yes, yeah, you are going to be able to enjoy that money. And that money will be blessed. And that money will multiply. Seriously. But you know what? If we don't do what we're supposed to do, you know, and then we're expecting money to come to us, sometimes the money does not even come. And even if that money comes in, Yes, uh, that money is not going to be okay. Yes, because, you know, a client has paid you and you've not done what you said you were going to do. Yes, uh, the next weeks that um, we're going to discuss, I will discuss, you know, and um, some of the, the issues that we face with, you know, where, you know, number one, number two, and number three are not working properly. So the issue that we have, big issue, yeah, that we have when it comes to stage number six. Yes. And it's not only for us, but also for the clients. The health issues, health concern, the safeguarding issues, you know, I call it, you know, that we need to take into consideration. Yes. Well, I want you guys to focus. I want to leave you guys today for you to paint this picture. Are you with me? There's so much clarity in terms of the deadlines that we got stage number six. Yeah, but you can smash that. You can make that easy. You can make everything here, you know, when it comes to number six, you know, we're holding it's a doddle. Yeah, and the reason why that will be a doddle, yeah, is you look after stage number one, you look after stage number two, and stage number three, yes, it will fall in place nicely. I want you to paint that picture. If you are in practice, you're dealing with clients. Yes, if you are you know, uh, in an industry, you're working in the finance office. Yes, think about it. Focus on stage number one. 
Number two, stage number one is done every day, every week, every month. Stage number two is done once every month. Yes. So 12 times in the year, every month you produce your management account. Yeah. And the management account is coming out from the reconciled true balance of stage number one. Yes. The reconciled debtors that is coming from stage number one. The reconciled creditors. Those accruals, those prepayments, those deferred income, accrued income. Yes, depreciation, all of the journals, they are all being dealt with in stage number one. Every day, every week, every month. Yeah, just bank reconciliation. Yes, uh, debt just control, credit just control, POY control, pension control. Yes, all the different control accounts, they are all dealt with stage number one. Every day, every week, every month. Yes, uh, in stage number one, making sure that those customers, they all have their information in there. Those suppliers' information is in there complete, not partly. Yes, just the name of the customer or supplier. No, everything. When I'm say full disclosure, yeah, in stage number one. Yes, when you come to number two, yeah, it makes life much easier. Your chart of account, stage number one. Those accruals and prepayments, stage number one. Understand that. It's got to be done every month. Yes. Month end process need to be done every month to close down the month, yeah, and prepare a final trial balance. And that reconciled trial balance is what you feed into number two. Number two, you're now preparing your management account every month. Yeah, variance analysis has been prepared and commentary, not only figures, but commentary. Why figures are different, the actual different from you know the uh, the budget, for example. And then your forecasting techniques comes in there. So you're now able to pull out other information which is outside, you know, of your budget. You know, information that is now becoming clear to you that you did not know six or eight or ten months ago when you were preparing the budget. Yes, all of that is so, so important. Stage one, stage two, stage three. Yes, those three stages... Yes, they work hand in hand. Are you with me? To be able to deal with stage number six. Yeah? Okay? I'm not talking about stage number five here now because stage number five is now the external guys coming in. I'm appealing to the guys who are internal. We who are supposed to be doing this stuff every day, every week, every month. Are you with me? Stage one, stage two, and stage three. Are you with me, guys? Yes, to make stage six as simple as we can. Yes, it's those three things that need to be focused on. Are you with me, guys? When we focus on those three things, yeah, stage number six is going to be easy. Yeah, uh, you hear me talking about, you know, when you look at this, yes, I say simple, but it's not easy. Yeah, simple. Why? Because you know what? You look at it, paint that picture. It's simple, isn't it? Oh, stage one, simple. Stage two, simple. Stage three, simple. For us to do stage six, simple. But it's not easy. Why is it not easy? Yeah, because you know, this is a discipline. Yes, you want people who are committed. Yes. Uh, you want people who are consistent, people who persist. Well, this balance is not balancing. I am going to make it balance because you know what? I am going to analyze. I am going to make sure I go back again to why is this not balancing? Why am I having a difference? That data figure, I don't understand that data figure. You know, I want to do the breakdown. It takes people, yes, with that kind of mindset, Yes, uh, to work in stage one, stage two, and stage three. Yeah, if you are just about just posting, if you are just about, you know, just doing, you know, anyhow, yeah, um, it's not going to work, guys. Yeah, that's why we're going to have problems in stage number six. Yeah, stage number six. Uh, it looks like uh, it's easy, but it's not, guys. Yeah.
but we want to make it easy. Yeah? We want to make it simple and it's easy. Yes? Simple and it's easy. We got to make it work that way. And I'm telling you guys, the attitude that we bring, the mindset that we need to have to be able to make it simple and easy, yes, uh, is something that we could do. We can learn it. Yeah. Um, that's why I'm, um, uh, and earlier, I'm talking to you guys about, you know, uh, please register, you know, enroll, you know, for this mindset training. Yes. And then not only just enroll, but really, you know, um, uh, dive in. Yes. All in. Yes. Uh, it was, uh, I think well, yesterday I was listening to the news and following up, you know, and, um, uh, uh, what they're talking about the day they landed, you understand? And uh, how fans, you know, and um, and uh, uh, and uh, and, the, and the world war, yes, the soldiers, you know, all these old people talking about, you know, uh, one of the reasons why, you know, today they they feel so, they feel so much, you know, and um, uh, they did their, they did their stuff, you know, did they? Yes, it's because you know they all, they gave it all. Yes, they believe in what they believe. You know, they were there. You know, you name whatever, you say whatever you want to say. But you know what? When you give everything, yes, you are committed. Yes, for a course, a course like this, I'm saying, guys. Yeah, to be able to serve your client. Um, it's what I'm asking here. It's the kind of mindset and attitude. Yeah, we are now talking about here, guys. Yeah. Give it everything. Yeah. Take it seriously. Yeah. But this is what you said you're going to do. Yeah. So next week, we'll focus a little bit more about some of the challenges, you know, that we're facing, you know, when things are not going okay. Yes. Um, we'll talk more about this next week or in the following weeks. Yeah. About stage number six. Yeah. But today, I want to leave you guys paint this picture. Stage one, stage two, and stage three. When you have all of this, you know, under your control, under your belt, yeah, stage number six, yeah, it's easier. It makes life much, much, much easier. Yeah? Okay. Thank you very much for listening. I will now stop sharing and then ask if there's any questions. Um, you can take a few questions uh, before we finish for today. Over to you guys. Any questions? Yes, I can say uh, Kevin. Kevin, thank you very much, Kevin. Uh, well, uh, good afternoon, Molai. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, that's great. Uh, thank you, Molai, for uh, sharing that great uh, perspective on now. Uh, the final stage of the Morocco accountancy formula. Um, indeed, it's a very interesting uh, stage. I'm, I'm listening and, um, you know, uh, this is where the organization or the company gets connected now, uh, uh, gets to comply uh, with what the law provides. So um, my, my question uh, goes to uh, this area, this aspect where I'm uh, you'll tell me whether you've had such an experience and whether the company house and the charity commission provides that uh, that provision. So now um, you'll find, you, you've talked about the internal guys, um, ensuring that they work on stage one, stage two, and stage three so that they can make stage six to be simple as, um, as much as they can. Now, here comes a situation, uh, you find that whatever has been um, filed, uh, the returns that have been filed, something something somewhere goes wrong because you've said we are given that period of time you file and then we pay so you have that uh, provision of three months to pay then in between there you find out like there's something that needs to be amended uh, i want to know your experience about that and um probably how you go and what's the impact again uh, of, of uh coming to amend uh the returns that have already been filed past the deadline so uh, that interesting. That, that's what I want to know. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kevin. Um, interesting question there. And um, again, as I say, paint a picture. 
yeah, um, you are able to produce your statutory account uh, three to four months after the end of the financial year. Yeah, which means that, yes, um, all things being equal, those accounts have been audited, you know, or independent exam or accountant report, you know, um, add maybe one or two months to it, let's say five months, you know, those accounts have now been, they are ready to file. And those accounts are filed. And then um, the deadline, for example, company's house is nine months. So paint that picture, five months, you have filed this account and the deadline is nine months, okay? And when you file account, you know, with company's house, let's give, you know, probably a month, yeah, for it to show up. Every month is uh, is really, you know, really extra extra generous. Yes, uh, within weeks, you know, company's house should be able to, uh, to update it, accept it, and then update it on the records. And let's say, you know, for some reason, these accounts are rejected. Yes. Again, there are massive implications when accounts are rejected. Yes. And they will talk about that later on. Yes. But um, let's focus on, you know, what happens when the accounts are rejected. The accounts get back, sent, sent back, you know, and then, yes, uh, you come in, you know, uh, with an explanation and say, these accounts were rejected because of this reason. So you can now fix that reason. And then when you fix it, then you now so resubmit. Yeah. But think about it. You got five months when you're preparing this account, and then this is nine months up there. So if that account was submitted, yes, and then the account rejected, and then you know you got plenty of time before the statutory deadline. Yes. Okay. So you still have the opportunity to adjust the accounts, you know, and then resubmit them again. Yeah, before the ultimate deadline. Yeah, okay. Put another scenario. If this account, yeah, you submit them, let's say in the eighth month, yeah, after the end of the year, and the deadline is nine months after the end of the year, and those accounts were rejected. Yes, by the time it gets back to you, the accountant, for you to be able to make the amendment and then resubmit, those accounts are now late. Yeah, that is a completely different scenario. Yeah, so and that creates all sorts of issues. Yeah, but just think about it. You know, if accounts are sent to company's house and company's house rejected, then they'll send it back, and then you need to be adjusted. You know, and then and then you file. Yeah, now you want to make sure that when you file them, it is still within the, the, the statutory deadline. If it's not then technically those accounts are late. So even though originally you filed them before the deadline, yes, but when they were rejected, you know, and then you resubmit them, and then they happen to be now after the deadline, those accounts are technically late. So there's a fine and penalty and whatever it is for those. Yeah. So it happens with the same for uh, HMRC. Yes. Charity commission is the same. Yes. So, you want to be able to uh, to know that yes, you can um you can amend those accounts if they were rejected, but then you want to be able to note that well hold on the second time that you submit those accounts, you know are, are they within the same statutory deadline or is it you know outside of the statutory deadline? Uh, as I say, next week or the week after we will talk more about you know when situations like this arise, you know the implication for us, the accountant but also the implication for the individual, for the clients, yes? Uh, we should not forget that, the clients. And how the clients, you know, uh, uh, respond. You know, we've got so many different um, and, uh, examples, you know, classic examples, you know. Um, uh, we will talk about, you know, again, you know, in the next week, you know, this whole month is just to share some of those experiences, yeah? But it's a very good question. Yeah, that if those accounts are rejected for so whatever reason, They'll come back, and then you know you need to be able to make this adjustment, you know, and then you 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 resubmit, you know, those accounts. Yeah, okay. I hope that clears that for uh, justice. But it's one of those, and um, and you hear me, you know, I've got so much, you know, to talk about. I'm telling you, so much. Yes, 
uh, about stage number six. Yeah. Uh, again, I say, paint this picture. You've done a, a fantastic job throughout the year. Yeah. Every day, every week, every month, stage one. Stage two, every month. Yes. And stage three, once every year. Yes. The tax, uh, stage number five, um, once, number four, once every year. Yeah. The audit, yes, once every year. Yes. And the filing, which is the last stage, after you've done all this fantastic work throughout the year, yes, you want to be able to file those accounts, you know, early and then get companies house to accept it, get charity commission to accept it, and get HMRC to accept it. Yes. And once you do that, you know, I'm telling you, uh, the feeling that you get inside of you to say you've done your job for that year. Yes. That is what we're talking about here. Yeah. Uh, that good feeling, you know, to be able to go to bed and sleep, you know, knowing that you serve your client. Yeah. And that client has paid you for that service. Yes. That is what I'm talking about here. Yeah. To be able, you know, to pat yourself in the back, you know, if you're part of a team who have achieved that, yeah, that is what I'm talking about here. Yeah, to be able, you know, to stand out there, you know, and share good practice, you know, to the accountancy professional or whosoever committee you belong to. That's what I'm talking about here. Are you with me? Uh, that's why I'm talking about accountants who are really emotionally involved in the client businesses. Yes. It's not just about just filing for the sake of filing. Yes. Uh, if that's what you come to do in this profession, guys, probably this profession is not for you. And it's changing really fast. I'm telling you to take out all of this mechanical way of doing things. Yeah. Yeah. It's more about emotions, you know, stage one. Yeah. Think about it, guys. You know, stage one, we are competing with robots. Yes. Machines who can do things faster than us. They could do things cheaper. They could do things more efficiently. Yes. Uh, there is no competition there. Yeah. And we are not in the business of competition. Remember this. We don't compete. We are in the business of creating, creating new ideas, creating new things. Yeah. And if you come to Morocco, that's one of the things, that's a principle there. Yeah. For us and the way we approach our things. Yes. Or do things. We don't compete with anybody. We are in the business of creating new ideas. Yes. And we want people who are creative. Well, the word creative accounting, yeah, is not, you know, in in a profession. No, no, no. Uh, it, it's not something that, you know, we talk about. You know, it's not accepted. To be creative in that in that sense, you know, creating an account where there is no substance, you know, or, you know, a more form than substance. No, sorry. What we're talking about here, creating in the sense that, we're well, no, sorry, I cannot be competing with a machine. Yes. Even though I am the one Yes, that has created a machine. <laughs> you understand? No, the machine is efficient. The machine is cheap. The machine, you know, well, you know how it is the speed at which, you know, the machine does things, you know, and the machine is efficient. Yes, and all businesses out there, guys, think about it. Yes, why is a business a business? If a business is not profitable, it's not a business. And a business needs to be able to employ you know, efficient, you know, uh, or efficiency, yeah, within that business to be profitable. And unfortunately, one of the ways, you know, businesses, you know, are able to achieve that bottom line profit, yeah, is people. Yes, people. Yeah. And when you look at accounts, yeah, most accounts, you look at the cost. Yes, the biggest cost is people. Okay. If you want to be profitable, you want to be able to look at that people and see that people are efficient. Yes. Okay. So when you look at that, my friend, yeah, uh, you begin to see, oh my goodness, businesses are focusing on people. People not being efficient. Yeah. It makes the bottom line not so good. When people are efficient, it makes the bottom line very good. Are you with me? But we are not going to compete. Yes, we are in the business of creating. So think about it. Yes, when you done stage one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, uh, within three to four months or five months after the end of the financial year, 
you know what? When the deadline is nine months for Companies House, when the deadline is 10 months for Charity Commission, when the deadline is 12 months for HMRC, and you are able to do it within six months, the law of compensation, guys, think about it. The law of compensation, it tells you that, you know what? Uh, you are going to be difficult to replace. <laughs> yes? You're going to make some money if it's money you want to make. Yeah? You're going to have credibility because you're going to be somebody of authority. You know, when you speak and you share your knowledge, yeah, people are going to listen to you. Yeah? So I want to draw this to your attention, guys. You know, uh, and particularly young people who are listening to me now, if you come into the profession and you come in, because, you know, uh, I just want to come and record. Yes. I just want to come and do the traditional way of doing accounts. Yeah. It's gone, guys. It's gone. Long, long, long time. Yeah. Okay. Um, want to go to bed knowing that you serve your clients. Those clients who have bought you on board because they trust you. Those clients who have bought you on board, yes, knowing that, yes, they rely on you to be a partner. Yes, those clients that have bought you on board, yes, knowing that you, yes, you'll be able to represent them. Yes, those clients that have bought you on board, knowing that, you know, I cannot grow alone the financial aspect, you know, of this business, you know, I'm bringing somebody who's got specialized knowledge. Yes, these are all the things that we need to take into consideration when we're doing this. Yeah, yeah. So because we're all people, you know, at the end of the day, you go home to your loved ones. Yes, you go to bed. You want to wake up every morning, you know, knowing that, yes, uh, today I'm going to do something special, you know, special for my clients. So when I've done it, I go home, I can sleep well. But if you don't, and all you are looking for, you know, taking money for work that you've not done, it's a sin, I'm telling you guys. Yeah, it's a sin. Yeah, and you know, sin, yes? When you sin, you know, well, uh, you can say, well, you know, and um, uh, you can deal with it. Well, it's not nice. Yeah? Um, this job that we're coming to doing, yeah, we chose to do it, yes? <laughs> yeah, each and every one of us here, yes, and the guys who are going to be listening to us coming to this, yes, we chose to do, we want to do this, yeah. Uh, let's commit to it and do it, yeah. Let's try and file accounts. I want to leave this with you. Let's file accounts, you know, five months or six months after the end of the financial year, yes. Yeah, when it's an audit, it takes a bit longer, yes. Well, six months for audit, you know, when you're in an audit environment. But if independent examination, four months, yes, um, uh, accountant's report, four months, maximum. Yeah? If we do that, I'm telling you guys, yeah, that would be, you know, really special. And we are special people when we do these things. Yeah. All right. One more question or observation before we go. Yes. Anyone? Stage number six, filing with the authorities. Sure. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we can call it a day. Yeah. Uh, and thank you again uh, for all your. Um, uh, your participation yeah but my advice I would say to you guys go and then put it into practice guys yeah go and put it into practice um, um, because it's only when you put it into practice it's when you know things become more clear yeah the more you do it the more you're going to see things yeah become more clear paint that picture yeah paint the picture and when you paint that picture Yes, uh, slowly and slowly, that picture becomes clear. You know, you begin to, you know, have clarity. Yeah, and uh, and if you don't, um, say for example, you got problems, you know, and um, or challenges, you know, you know, come, you know, ask for help. 
you know. Uh, there's so much help, you know, within, you know, uh, the system. You know, so many people around with different, you know, um, specialized knowledge that can help you, you know, to unlock, you know, whatever challenges you're going through, yeah. I will be forever grateful, you know, to um, the accounting training, you know, and then the mindset training, you know, uh, continuously, you know, um, reading books, you know, on um, on mindset, personal development, applying it, you know, to accounts, you know, and um, uh, communicating with clients, you know, engaging with clients, you know, and uh, because that's what it is, yeah. Uh, we are here to serve them, yeah. Uh, you got to hold those the people that you are paying, you know, they need to serve you. Remember that, you know, you cannot serve, you know, the people, you know, that are um, giving you money and the people that you're spending money on. Yeah, uh, that's not fair in life. Yeah, but with love, though, I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, don't go fighting, don't go, you know, breaking, you know, and um, um, apply some, you know, some sense there. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, guys, and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Okay. Uh, don't forget, you know, to to uh, to log in. Don't forget, you know, to register. Don't forget, you know, to follow us on social media. Don't forget to comment, you know. And I just want to take the opportunity to thank some people who are really, really, you know, um, on social media, uh, really blasting, you know. We've got to make a lot of noise, you know, uh, just to uh, uh, to put some some guys in the spot. You know, uh, Kevin, you have been doing fantastic there. Thank you very much, you know. And um, uh, guys, please, please, please go, you know, and make some noise. Yeah, make some noise. Yes, with all of this stuff that you are hearing here and doing, other people need to to hear that. Yeah. And uh, we'll be grateful, ever for grateful, you know, and thankful for, for your participation. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And see you all next yeah. week. Thank you.